Hey, welcome back to Find My Wings. This is Jesse. Today I'm going to go through installing and do a before and after. I'm putting square 20 millimeter spacers on a 2016 Scion FRS that's otherwise stock suspension, tire, and rim wise. Now, I didn't really find any too many videos showing the 20 front, 20 back setup, so I'm just going to show a little bit of the install and do a before and after comparison. So stay tuned and we'll see how much better this car looks. So, these are my spacers. I bought them from novistech.ca, a local company, do some awesome work in Kitchener-Waterloo area. I definitely recommend them. Just have an awesome machine shop. They do all kinds of cool stuff. You can even order some custom stuff from them. Uh, as you can see, these are hub-centric, 56.1 millimeter bore, 5 on 100, and they're 20 millimeters thick. Initially, I was trying to think about 20 millimeters versus the 20 in the front, 25 in the back that a lot of people do. And at the end of the day, I think the driving characteristics of the car really will benefit from having a square setup, um, which is why I went this way. It was also easily, readily available at a really cheap price. I'm going to show a little bit of the prep, uh, and then we'll do a before and after. There's not much science here. We're basically just going to put this right on. We're going to torque it to spec, we're going to torque it at the same wheel spec, which on this car is 89 foot-pounds, using a torque wrench and the supplied nuts here. And these are tapered, so we're going to go taper in like this. Uh, and there's already a bit of kind of that Loctite stuff um, on both the hub and the wheel, so I'm not really worried about putting too much more on this. These aren't going to be around in the winter, I don't think. These are just going to be for the summer, really. Um, so we'll skip some of this and show it when it's on here. So we can see it's on here. You can see they stick out a little bit. Um, but on these OEM wheels and a lot of aftermarket wheels, there's actually these dips here. So that should be fine. They should just go right into these dips. Uh, you should probably aim to have at least a 20 millimeter spacer. A 15 might get hard unless you're just doing extended lugs or extended bolts. Um, if you're gonna just kind of keep this original hub the way it is, then 20 uh, and up millimeters should work perfectly fine with most really rims, unless it has a fully flat back on it. Just be cautious of that. And of course, we're just gonna torque these to the actual wheel spec, which is 89 foot pounds, uh, in a crisscross pattern, just so it gets an even, nice placement here. And we'll spin it at the end and make sure that it actually looks perfectly even before we start putting the tire back on. So I hadn't thought about this, but trying to torque these, it just moves around because these are the front wheels here. Uh, so I'm just using a jack stand so it stops it, and so I can actually get a torque on these, and we'll just rotate it a little bit uh, when we need to do the other side here. Um, but this will move, so if you're going to actually torque it properly, then put something under it, whether it's a jack stand or a piece of wood or something, just to keep it from moving until you can get that actual torque number that you're trying to get. I actually had to raise it here, or it will just basically try to move over on this. So try to get it so it's actually pressing down basically on one of these lugs and so this is really hard and you can get at least that 89 foot pounds of torque on it. So before actually torquing these up, I'm just going to move it and watch to see if it stays flat. Just want to make sure we didn't get anything in there but it looks pretty precise to me just using my eye. It might be hard to see on the camera but this looks good so we're going to lower it and torque it. You see got rid of a lot of that gap now. So it fits like a real tire on a real car. Pokes just a touch, but that should be fine. So just as we get our first one on here, it's sitting high just because it just came off the jack. Um, but we can see that it fills up the wheel well compared to this guy. So to me that already looks a lot better. Much easier on the rear, don't have to do anything special, just Make sure that all of these guys get torqued. And of course, always just back and forth pattern. So don't go around, just back and forth, up and down to make a star. So let's put these wheels back on and do a left to right comparison. Let's just do the left to right comparison here. See, it looks like it skipped leg day all around. And now we've got a little bit of beef under it. Definitely like it more. Adding five millimeters to the back 
sounds like a good idea, but I don't want to spray stuff up on the cars behind me. I'm okay with getting my own car dirty, but don't want to spray other people's cars with dirt and dust and everything. So. All right, and we're all done. This side's gonna look a bird pretty high. Just come down off the jacks, but. That looks a lot better. Just fills it up. Makes it look like a proper car, in my opinion. Uh, and we'll do a bit more to keep getting this fitment better without changing too much of the OEM spec on it. But I'm already really liking the look of this car. A lot more than without the spaces, at least. So I'm just going to wash myself up a little bit and take this car for a drive. i got to go pick up some engine oil. And so we'll do some first impressions while I'm driving around here. Thanks for watching to this point. So, I was a little nervous because a lot of people online are like, ah, oh, you won't notice much of a difference with 20 millimeter spacers. And I was really hoping I did. And I do. This car just feels wide and planted. Of course, it's not major. We're not adding a 40 mil spacer or anything crazy to it. Close these windows here. But the steering feel just feels nice. It doesn't feel like it's transferring as much weight. Always mainly nervous about like, oh, that I torque it all properly, but I double checked everything. <laughs> and I double checked my double check. So I feel pretty confident that they're torqued pretty nicely, both on the spacer and the wheel. Just kind of going back and forth. It feels really cool. It feels like I can feel that low center of gravity a lot more because this car has such a low center of gravity. And it just feels like it's actually on rails a little bit more than without the spacers. So. That's pretty cool. So, first door corners here. Feels nice. It's interesting because it, it actually does elevate how much you can feel that the tires don't have a ton of grip, being those still those Primacy HP Prius tires that everybody talks about. And we're done. So the wheels actually fit the car now, which is nice. Hear that super trap? I like that sound. I think it needs a touch more camber on the front compared to the rear there. But overall, it's looking pretty good. So getting some scrapes there. Stock height, stock suspension, stock wheels, stock tires. 20 millimeter all around. I like it, we'll keep going down this path. So uh, thank you for watching. Hope you like, comment, subscribe. Share this with anybody that's curious to see what 20 mil square spacers are gonna look like on a stock FRS, BRZ, uh, or anything else on this platform. Thank you very much, hope everybody's doing well out there, staying safe, happy, and healthy. Thanks for watching, finding my wings.